Well, it's a joy to be with you on this Friday. And as I say at the end of each of the work weeks, I trust it's been a productive week, a good week. And if it's been a troubling week, then let's ask God to uh, just meet our needs and let's go forward. We got a weekend ahead to serve the Lord. The Lord's day is ahead. And each hour and each day is a new opportunity. I'd like to look at a very familiar verse. We've covered it a couple of times here on this uh, word of encouragement. And it's a verse that most of us could quote. I am crucified with Christ. This is Galatians 2.20. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Many things could be said about this verse, but in the way of encouragement, I want us to understand that one of the greatest blessings in life is to wake up to the Christ life, the crucified life. You see, we were identified when in Christ when he died and when he was buried. And then when he rose from the dead, we were identified with him. And when we place our faith in Christ, his death, burial, and resurrection becomes ours. And we, as Romans 6 says, are risen with him and we have his new life, his resurrection life. And so because we're crucified with Christ, we're, we have the potential of living out the life of the risen Christ ourself. You see, we were crucified with him, but we live, but our life is not just a natural life, life now. We've been regenerated. We have the Spirit of God in us. And so we should be understanding that the life that God has now allowed us to live is the risen life of Jesus Christ. And you talk about encouraging. You see, as a believer, you're a new creation. As a believer, you should be seeing old things pass away. You are not what you were before you were saved. And so even though we know our natural human weaknesses, we under, need to understand we're a child of God and we have the resurrected life of Christ within us through the presence of the Holy Spirit. And we can live that life. That's what he's saying. Yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. You see, one of the ways to stay encouraged is just stay on the ground of faith. That's what it says, faith in the Son of God. We need to understand that if we'll get a hold of truth about who we are, what's really going on, the fact about what is really important in life, well, then we won't be discouraged when things don't go our way. We will trust that God is working those things all for good. We won't be disappointed with some of the goals that we we thought we wanted humanly have been now changed by God and now there are goals that he has for us that are far better. We won't be thrown by the things that are around us that seem to be so negative because our life is not our own. We are living uh, through the power of the resurrected Christ and God wants to do through us what we cannot do ourselves. We're new creations and we are now living already in the eternal life that God has given us. The eternal one lives in us, and we're beginning what we will continue to do once we get to heaven as we serve him. Just that change of mentality, walking by faith that way, can change everything. You're not just a Christian in your place and sort of knocked around by the waves of circumstances. No, you are a child of God, and the risen life of Christ is the very life you can live and that you're not limited by your human weakness. When God is leading, you can see God do God-sized things through your life. And we need to believe that so that we don't let ourselves get boxed in by human thinking and let Satan discourage us and limit us from doing what God wants us to do. So as we move through this weekend, let's believe God. We are crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, we live, yet not I. You know, we need to realize that it's not us, but Christ liveth in me.